Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today I'd like to go on our series of Van Hub. The virtual machine would be a Death Note one. I will put the link into the description section below, so that you can download the image. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save time, I have already imported the virtual machine into the virtual box. Now I can go into the Canon Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four. I used the Net Discover two, the built-in. Uh, two in the Canon Linux, of course, you can use whatever you like. There's same so many、uh, different tools, which you can do the same thing. And I also did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the versus scan, and the default script scan. I also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p. Dash. So from the map scanning results, the two open ports. The first one is twenty two, which is running SSH service, and also the actual version information, including the version number, is dis is displayed over here. Of course, as we know, this version of SSH. Doesn't have any vulnerability. What we can exploit, and the second one is eighty, which runs HTTP surface, and also the version information. So, what we are going to do next is to do some further more emulation for the eighty port. Now let's open up our browser. Of Let's put the IP address of this virtual machine. Let's hit enter. And it says, "Please wait." And now the browser is trying to connect to something else. So we just wait for this to be loading up. As you can see. From the status, the virtual machine will try to connect to this host name. So I think when our browser is time out, and then we can add this host name to yeah. As you can see, we are having trouble finding that site. It's okay because it's trying to connect to the server at this. Host name. We can make a copy of this, and now we can go back to our shell and、uh, edit the host file, and we can remove the existing record or item. And、uh, we can input the IP address and、uh, paste the host name here. And、uh, now write and quit, and we can cut the content of this file. Yeah, we have already imported or appended this item or record. Uh, into the hot file, and then we can refresh. So I think now we can get the normal page, and、uh, from the the path, the directory name, and also at the bottom, you can see、uh, this site is powered by WordPress. So I think 
uh, at uh, from this point naturally you want to use the two word press again to emulate the user names or vulnerable plugins but uh, i think this is a wrong way or this is a wrong methodology before we try to crack or emulate the user names or password or oh, sorry not password just vulnerable plugins we need to do the directory scanning first and then we can uh, use the WordPress scan to do some furthermore emulation so how to do it we can use the go buster and specify that yeah i just auto complete this command Yeah, we have to know there is directory. The name is WordPress, but also there is robots file. So we cannot miss this important file. And we can open up another tab, robots. So it says you added, added a hint on this file and uh, please delete it. And we need to show we need to make sure that uh, uh, this file is still um, exists on the on this site, and we can make a copy and paste it in here. But it says the image uh, cannot be displayed because it contains errors. But if we use, we can copy the pass, and we can go to another tab, and uh, the name is this note, and we can use double get and to download uh, this file. So, because the browser have prob has a problem to open this file, we need to check. Uh, the type of the file first so as you can see this file is is not the actually is not the image but the text file so we can use the cat simply yeah very simple cat the content of this file and it says i have trouble if l i think l is the the user name is true about the assumption that light is killer and this should be another user name the login user name user.txt and but i don't know the password i think it's in the hint section of a site hint section and we go back to our site here as you can see there is super link hint we just uh, click and uh, it uh, tell us we need to find the notes txt file on the server or see the l command and uh, we can yeah you can see my favorite line is this one so maybe this should be the password we can make a note of the password to our pad so i think now we have already yeah, and then, then uh, we need to use the go buster. Uh, I, I think we have I have we have already done that before. Yes, and now we need to use the WordPress scan to tool and uh, specify the URL, and we can make a copy of the whole path of the WordPress installation, and we can paste in here and uh, specify option e and uh, this option will try to emulate the user name or plugins we can do it we can do both so this command will try to emulate the user names of the wordpress and also possibly possibly will try to emulate the vulnerable plugins but uh, in this con in this case no plugins are found but it does identify the 
user Kira, and we can use this uh, username and uh, the password here to log in WordPress administrators portal, and we can normally the portal directory is WordPress. Uh, sorry, I need no. Uh, yeah, HTTP and uh, this one should be okay now the username is kira and uh, we can copy this password and log in yeah correct and we just remind me later so now we have already successfully log in to the wordpress portal and uh, of course at this point the next objective is we need to try to upload our reverse shell.php and uh, uh, before we do that we need to make a copy from my two sets and uh, we need to make some modifications for this file or shell script oh sorry this is not a shell script, this is PHP uh, code. And I'd like to change the IP address to my Kani Linux. And uh, as Yuyu, I'd like to change the port number to my favorite, favorite one. And now let's write and quit. And then and we can cut the content of this file and uh, we can make a copy of the whole code so i think uh, when we can access the wordpress portal and there are different ways to to get the shell but for me the the first way uh you know my my most uh, the, the i like the most Mostly, the way the first way is to uh, try to replace the 404 template by our reverse shell.php. And if it doesn't work, and then we can use other ways. So let's let's show you how I do it. Let's go to the appearance section and go to the scene editor. And understand and we can locate the 404 template we can remove original code for this file and we can uh, paste our reverse shell.php code and then we can update the file but in this context it says it gives uh, it gives us the error error unable to communicate back with the site to check for fatal errors. So, of course, in this virtual machine, we cannot uh, obtain our, our objective by this way. And the next option, always, I'd like to try to, uh, to use the Metasprite. And uh, let's launch our Metasprite and then when the Metasprite is loaded up and yeah we can search the module WordPress scan at the main module yeah my virtual machine is some somewhat snow i'm not sure what happened at the background but anyway i don't to i don't want to fix this issue maybe i can share no 
what's happening this view yeah. oh I think it's okay we just uh, wait for this to be to reply back yeah finally we got the name of the this module we can use this module and uh, paste in here and uh, the payload is default one the metas metaprite sorry metapreter and uh, we can show options and now we can set the local host to our Kali Linux and uh, set the local port as 555 of course you can you can configure this port number as you like and we also need to set remote host to our virtual machine and set I think the port is 80 we don't need to change that but the URL you UIL we need to uh, we need to modify uh, so that can meet our actual yeah WordPress right WordPress WordPress let's hit and we ne also need to set the username as killer set the password we can make a copy oh sorry and make a copy and the paste in here i think we show options again to make sure we have already configured every required field or item i think it's good enough to go now let's hit ROM. Yeah, metaprete session one opened, which is very good. And we can go to the shell. Yeah, now we are just uh, WW data. And uh, we can check the Python. Yeah, Python. Yeah, now we got uh, the normal shell. And we go to the home directory. Uh, the, the two users, the first one is killer. Yeah, we got, uh, we can make some basic immersion. Mm -hmm. What happened? What happened? I think uh, this issue is caused by my Kali Linux. You know, Kali Linux is not uh, so stable. And we can go to the shell again. ID. Oh, no. We can check the sessions. No, so maybe we need to run the metapreter, go to the shell. We can back put the, yeah, we can go to this metapreter again and uh, shell
Yeah, this metaprinter is not stable. So I need to fix this issue first and then come back. I just uh, relaunch the Metas point and now we do it again. And now we can go to the home directory, go to the another user. Yeah, we got the user flag. Yeah, I think this is uh, encoded in the brain fuck. And we can use the brain decode. Yeah, this one. And uh, brain decode. Yeah, I think you got the shell, but. Uh, you won't be able to kill me, killer. So nothing useful. And we can go to the SSH directly, but permission denied. It's okay. And go to another user. And uh, we, uh, we, we don't have permission to read the killer dot txt. And uh, but uh, there is SSH directory, and there is one public key. So the user, I think the user L can log in via SSH to uh, to the Kira. Uh, I think we need to keep this into our minds, and uh, now we can we we need to do some furthermore immersion. Go to the var directory because this site is running WordPress. Normally, we need to find out the credentials information as much as possible, and we can go to the ww directory and go to the des node and uh, go to the WordPress WordPress directory. And we can cut the config PHP. PHP. Yeah, this is a very standard procedure. When, if the virtual machine has WordPress installed, and as we scroll up a bit, you can see the username for the database collection is L, and the password is here. We can make a copy. And uh, we can make a note here. So I think although this is used by the database collection, but uh, possibly uh, this password is also used by the user L. We can try that. We can switch switch our shell to the L, and we can make a copy of the password. And paste in here. Yeah, now no problem. Maybe we can open up our working directory and shl. Oh, we need to remove the existing keys. And then now logging again. Yes, and now we can make a copy. Yeah, now we successfully log in to the virtual machine or target via via SSH. And now, yeah, we have already got the user flag. And uh, you remember, you remember that. Uh, we can log in to the to the killer via SSH because the in the home directory of of a killer 
there is public key uh, with the L user. And now we can sh and the local host. As you, as you can see, no problem. And now we can cut the killer txt. I think we need to decode this image, uh, this message. And we can open up another tab. And uh, use the base 64 and option D. Yeah, please protect me. Protect one of the followings. So we need to go to the uh, the var and the opt directory to find what's inside in these two directories. Go to the var. Yeah, we have one file. Name is Misa. We can cut. Yeah, it's too late for Misa. Nothing useful. And we can go to another directory because we have already decoded the message. And the message tell us we should protect one of the followings. Okay, and list the content and go to the L directory. Yeah, and go to the killer and cut the case. So I think uh, the FBI agent died on blah, 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 uh, one, one week after the investigation. And uh, according to, we also found something in this folder. Okay, and we can go back and go to another folder or directory. And here is hint. So use subchef. So I think this one, of course, we can download uh, this file. This file looks like uh, some sort of um, video or file, but I can tell you this is not a video or file. We can use the file command. You can see this is just a text file. So it would be very simple to get the content of this file by cat. Yeah, but this is encoded and we can use, we can make a copy and go to the subchef website, just the author give us the hint and the subchef. Okay. And I can paste in here. Of course, the operation is hex, hex, and uh, yeah, we have already got the output, but uh, this result or output is again encoded in the base 64, I think. So we can uh, select uh, the base 64 as the second step to decode, yeah. We have already got the password. We can make a copy and paste in here. So you maybe you think this is the password for the root user. We, we can try that and can paste in here. However, it's not authentication failure. So actually this password is the is for the this killer and we can sudo and we can make a copy yeah we can run all commands with root privilege so of course to elevate the privilege to the root user it will be very very simple we just the sudo and bin bash and now we are root user. We can go go to the root directory, list the content of this directory, and we can get the root flag here. Okay, no problem. 
So I think、uh, we have already done all necessary steps. We have already、uh, got the loot shell and also got the loot flag. So that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.